you can see the female climbing and the male will be shown pretty soon. Yes. Chameleons are highly specialized reptiles known for their distinctive appearances and remarkable adaptations. Chameleons belong to the family Chameleonidae and are characterized by a distinct body shape, head, eyes, tongues, tail, and many more features. They have laterally compressed bodies which means their bodies are flattened from side to side giving them a thin profile that helps them navigate through dense foliage chameleons have a triangular shaped head with a cascade a helmet like structure on top this structure varies in sizes and shape among different species and varieties of chameleon. Their eyes are among their most distinctive features. Each eye can rotate and focus independently of the other, providing a 360 degree thought of view. This unique ability helps them to spot prey and predators without having to move their heads. They possess a long, sticky and highly extendable tongue which can be rapidly projected to catch prey from a distance. The tongue can sometimes be longer than the chameleon's body in terms of its entire length. Many chameleons have a prehensile tail which acts as a fifth limb. They can wrap this tail around branches to anchor themselves as they move either horizontally or climb a branch or a tree. In this particular scene, a small female chameleon cautiously approaches a male. Her eyes darken with awareness. She is drawn to a towering male, nearly twice her size, basking in the sun's warmth. As she attempts to climb onto his back, the tranquil setting erupts into a flurry of motions. The male, sensing an intruder, reacts swiftly. His body inflates and its vibrant colors flash with intensity, signaling his dominance. Chameleons have several specialized adaptations in their limbs that makes them excellent climbers. Foremost among this adaptation is the zygodactylus feet. The chameleon's feet are uniquely adapted for grasping. They have a zygodactylus feet, meaning their toes are fused into two opposing groups. On each foot, there are typically five toes, two on one side and three on the other side. This arrangement allows them to have strong grip on branches and twigs. The front feet have two toes pointing forward and three pointing inward, while the rear feet have the opposite arrangement, providing a stable, vice-like grip. The chameleons have strong muscular limbs that support their slow and deliberate movement. The robust muscles aid in gripping and maintaining balance as they navigate through trees. The chameleon 
also have specialized claws. Each toe of the chameleon is equipped with sharp claws which help them to grab securely onto various surfaces like bark and leaves. These claws provide extra traction essential for moving horizontally and for climbing on tree backs. They have flexible ankles and wrists. Their ankles and wrists are highly flexible, allowing for a wide range of motion. This flexibility is crucial for the chameleon to maneuver around complex and uneven surfaces in its arboreal habitat, such as the forest. Another unique adaptation of the chameleon to enable it to adapt to its environment is its stilt movement. The chameleon has the ability to move stiltly. Chameleons move with a distinct rocking motion, often swaying back and forth. This movement pattern may mix the swaying of leaves and branches in the wind, making it harder for predators and prey to detect them. This physical and behavioral adaptation make chameleons exceptionally well suited for their arboreal lifestyle, allowing them to navigate through complex tree canopies with ease. Chameleons are masterful climbers and their bodies have evolved a number of adaptations that make them exceptionally suited to navigating their arboreal or tree-dwelling environments. Chameleons can efficiently move through dense foliage, grasping multiple branches simultaneously if needed. Their flexible joints and limbs allow them to maneuver in three dimensions, making them adept at navigating complex arboreal terrains. Whether climbing vertically up tree trunks or horizontally across branches, Chameleons use their limbs and tail in a coordinated manner to maintain balance and control. These physical and behavioral adaptations make chameleons highly efficient and capable climbers, perfectly suited for life in trees and shrubs where they hunt for insects and seek refuge from predators.
The majority of a chameleon's diet consists of insects such as crickets, grasshoppers, locusts, flies, and beetles. Depending on their size, some chameleons might also consume spiders, caterpillars, and some more invertebrates. Chameleons are well known for their incredible tongue, which can be up to 1.5 to 2 times the length of their body. The tongue is covered in sticky mucus that helps capture prey efficiently. When a chameleon spots its prey, it rapidly projects its tongue out, striking the target with precision. The tongue speed and the sticky mucus ensure that the prey is captured and retracted back into the mouth swiftly. Chameleons use their color-changing ability to blend into their surroundings, making it easier to ambush unsuspecting prey. Their deliberate slow movement help them to avoid detection by both prey and predators while they position themselves to strike. In addition to their insect diets, chameleons need water to stay hydrated. They typically drink droplets from leaves, which collects from dew or rainfall. Some chameleons are also known to drink from standing water in captivity. Chameleons require a diet rich in protein and other essential nutrients to maintain their health. In captivity, it is important to provide a balanced diet which often include dusting insects with calcium powder and other supplements to prevent nutritional deficiencies. Understanding the diet and feeding behavior of chameleons is crucial for their conservation and care, especially for those kept as pets or in captivity. Among the key adaptations of the chameleon to life in the forest or its arboreal habitat is the ability of the skin to change colors. And the chameleon is well noted among all for this specialized ability of changing colors to reflect different conditions and scenarios. This adaptation of the skin to change colors is made possible by a group of specialized cells within the skin called chromatophores. The chromatophores comes in five different pigments. First is the xanthrophores and the erythrophores. These cells contain yellow and red pigments respectively. The skin also contains the melanophores. These are rich in melanin 
the same pigment found in human skin and they appear black or brown. The skin also has the endophores. These cells reflect light and contain microscopic crystals and reflect various wavelengths of light producing blue and white. Contrary to popular belief, chameleons don't change color to match their environment or simply to camouflage. Instead, the colors are often a form of communication or a response to temperature, light, mood, and other environmental factors. For instance, a chameleon might darken its skin to absorb more heat or change color to signal aggression, submission, or at times readiness to mate with a partner. And by the way, the background to this scene shows a majestic waterfall where cascading waters plunge into the depth below. The relentless rush of water creates a mesmerizing roar, a powerful serenade that echoes through the rugged terrain. Mist rises like a delicate veil, mingling with the lush greenery that clings to the rocky reliefs, painting a picture of serene, untamed beauty. This is nature in its purest form, a sanctuary of tranquility and awe. The ability of the chameleon to change color is due to the interaction between the different layers of chromatophores embedded within the skin. By expanding or contracting these specialized cells, chameleons can mix the different pigments within these specialized cells, thereby producing different colors reflected on the skin. When a chameleon wants to change color, the nervous system sends signals to the chromatophores or the group of specialized cells within the skin to expand or contract. This adjustment changes the amount of pigment visible to the surface, thereby reflecting a different color. The endophores within the skin reflect ambient lights. By altering the space between their reflective crystals, chameleons can change wavelengths of light they reflect, thus modifying their skin color. The iridophores which is part of the group of specialized cells embedded within the skin of the chameleon has the ability to reflect ambient light. By altering the spaces between their reflective crystals, chameleons can change the wavelength of light they reflect, thus modifying their skin color. For example, making a chameleon appear green involves a combination of yellow and blue. If the animal contracts its melanophores, the yellow pigments in the xanthrophores combine with the blue light reflected by the iridophores, making the chameleon appear green. To appear darker, 
the melanophores press their, their pigment over the other cells, increasing the coloration towards black or brown, enable the chameleon to absorb more heat through the skin. As shown so far, the chameleon skin is a complex and finely tuned system of layers and cells that work together dynamically. The process of color change goes beyond simple camouflage, reflecting broader biological functions like communication, temperature regulation, and adaptive reaction to their environment. Watch closely as the chameleon moves across the slim palm front. Indeed, the chameleons found at the Butuasi waterfall in Kuawutafo is a mesmerizing sight to behold. Watch closely as the chameleon moves across the slim palm front. A specialized feet divided into two Opposable sets of toes grasp the narrow surface with remarkable dexterity. The claw tip digits wrap securely around the front, providing a firm grip that prevents any slip. With each measured step, the chameleon's feet open and close around the front, ensuring stable and deliberate movement. These marvels of biological engineering allow the chameleon to traverse even the most delicate vegetation, silently and effortlessly, as it advances in pursuit of its prey or an uncharted vantage point. Amidst the large green canopy of the waterfall, a master of disguise makes the move. With slow, deliberate precision, the chameleon navigates the twisting branches. A step, a testament to its evolutionary mastery. Its eyes, moving independently, scan the surroundings for both predators and prey, ensuring that each movement is calculated and purposeful. The chameleon's specialized feet grip the branch, its zygodital toes wrapping securely around the back, providing stability and control. The subtle sway of its motion may mix the movement of leaves in the wind, a natural camouflage perfected over a million years. Behind this is the waterfall giving it a very nice ambience, a melancholy of nature's symphony. Another beautiful spectacle, just as we are watching. Folks, as I draw the curtain on our journey through the wondrous world of chameleons, I am left in awe of their unparalleled beauty, unique adaptations, and the vital role they play in our ecosystems. These remarkable creatures, with their mesmerizing color changes, swift hunting skills, and extraordinary climbing abilities, are a testament to the marvels of creation and biodiversity. However, chameleons face numerous threats that jeopardize their existence. Habitat destruction, climate change, and the illegal trade in their body parts as well as their eggs for faith-based practices as well as traditional herbal medicine is pushing the species to the brink of extinction. It is our responsibility to ensure 
that these enchanting reptiles can continue to thrive in their natural habitats. Let us cherish chameleons wherever they may be found by supporting conservation efforts, protecting their habitat, and raising awareness about the challenges they face. We can make a difference. Every small action counts in preserving these magnificent creatures for future generations. Together, we can be the guardians of the natural world, preserving the delicate balance of our planet and celebrating the incredible diversity of life it sustains. Join Bosom Puzzles in this mission to protect and cherish chameleons, for they are not just colorful reptiles, but vibrant gems of our natural heritage. Thank you for watching this documentary. And remember, the future of chameleons is in our hands. Let us ensure that it remains bright and full of color. A very wonderful day right here in Kweu, Butuase. I must say it has been very phenomenal. Bosom Pego came here today looking for the chameleons, and my attention was drawn to the chameleons right here at Kweu, Butuase. Right here in this beautiful landscape that is the Butuase waterfall. It has been an exciting time in the natural landscapes. And again, I got the opportunity to film the chameleons. It is marvelous. It is truly phenomenal. Creation always speaks without a voice. No way. But across the entire world, its message is heard aloud. My duty at Boston Pigeons is to bring out this intricate beauty. Indeed, through the lens of the camera, the world looks different. We see, just as you can see, in great detail, in great detail, and the world really looks beautiful. Do enjoy this Beauty in nature.